Brandon Sheriff. Hey everybody, welcome to another video here from the Washington Football Maniacs. If you're new here, please try to consider subscribing to this channel. Definitely uh, give me a like on these videos, comment on these videos, share these videos, and with all that said, let's get into today's video. So we're talking about Brandon Sheriff today now. Obviously, you know, we've had Brandon Sheriff for several years now. He's up for a contract extension. He actually has been up for a contract extension for about the last couple of years. He's been playing on the tag. And I have several reasons. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if I really would say several reasons, but obviously I think I just have at least a couple of reasons why I feel like that Brandon Sheriff is not going to be back here in Washington next year. I think number one, the thing is, is that he he's fallen in the footsteps of Kirk Cousins. You know, Kirk Cousins, we all know what he did when he was here with the tag. He played on the tag twice. He, he was not interested, really honestly, in negotiating a new contract with the Washington Redskins at the time. So he decided that he would play on the tag. He would have all of that guaranteed money. And then at the end of that time, boom, he was gone. He went and got guaranteed money elsewhere, Minnesota. And that's really what he has been known for, honestly, uh, being a, a decent quarterback, making elite money. And I think Brandon Sheriff, he probably got a sniff of that as well and probably got some advice from Kirk Cousins before he left saying, hey, you know what? This organization is in flux, even though that there's different people that's in the front office now, there's still always going to be that stigma around this team, around this franchise until it wins the Super Bowl. So that being said, Brandon Sheriff probably has it in his mind that, you know what, I'll, I'll play on, on the tag with Washington, and then once that they can't tag me anymore then I'm just going to go for the highest bidder, and I think that's what he's going to do. If you also go back and read the tweet from Martin Mayhew, and Martin Mayhew basically you know, said, look, we have done everything that we can possibly do on our end. We have tried to re-sign Brandon Sheriff, and it's just it has not worked, and we want him back here, certainly. You know, Brandon or Martin Mayhew going out and pu kind of publicly saying, hey, we've been doing everything we've been trying to do or tried to do to re-sign Brandon Sheriff, tells me that they're, you know, reaching the end of the hook. Uh, you know, you could say, okay, it's just another smokescreen ploy. And after a while, it's like, how many smokescreens can you have until you smoke yourself out, right? I mean, it's, it's like, at some point, it's probably some truth to the matter that we just can't re-sign this guy. You know, he doesn't want to come back here and play, obviously. And he hasn't always been healthy either. You know, he hasn't played a full 16 or 17 games. He's always out. Now, this year, I think, I have to go back and look. I know he was out for the, the C. So, I mean, that you can't really blame him much for. Uh, but, you know, in recent past, he's, he's had some injuries that has kept him out. Uh, we've had to shuffle the offensive line around. I think Cornelius Lucas may have um, been plugged into the right guard position. And so, you know, the thing is, our offensive line has played well even without Brandon Sheriff at times. Now, yes, you do see some instances where we definitely do miss Brandon Sheriff when he's not in there. I mean, the guy is a great player. But, you know, at the same time, I think Washington has also realized that, hey, you know what, if the guys don't truly want to play here, if it's about the money or, you know, if it appears to be about the money, but in truth, all honesty is they hate playing for Washington, you don't want those guys here. You, you don't. Uh, no matter how great they are, you don't want them playing for Washington. And so I really feel like – Brandon Sheriff is on his way out. Um, I was kind of surprised that um, he decided to play on the tag this year. I really felt that maybe Washington should have just, you know, cut him loose and let him see if he could have gotten signed elsewhere. Um, but, you know, the thing is, I, I was grateful that we did have him this year. I just don't expect for us to have him next year. Um, I think that is uh, one point of uh, contention that, Washington would definitely have to look at, obviously, other than quarterback. 
Um, but they will have to definitely look at the offensive line, and we're going to have to draft some guys. Maybe we can bring in some, um, you know, some uh, free agent guys as well. Uh, but it's kind of how it how it is sometimes, you know. I mean, you're you have a team that has not won a Super Bowl since what ninety one, um, has barely made the playoffs, and you know since that point, and. You know, you as a professional, if you really love the game of football, I mean, you want to be able to win the Super Bowl. And if you feel like you're on a team that's not going to give you that opportunity, then you don't want to stay there. So I totally get that, too, from Brandon Sheriff and any other players that have left. I, I can't blame them. I can't fault them for that whatsoever. Um, so, you know, the only thing is I, I do have faith that we are trying to build a winner in Washington, uh, but it starts with having players here that we want to have here. So, you know, we may wind up losing some of these players that were really good players. You know, Trent Williams lost him. Um, you know, probably going to wind up losing Brandon Sheriff. But, you know, that's how it, that's how it kind of works. You know, it's not always a linear progression, as I say. You know, it's more of a, you know, you, you solidify some positions. You lose some guys in some other positions that – then you have to kind of turn around and refill. It's just it's the nature of the game. So um, that being said, don't look for Brandon Sheriff to be a Washington whatever next year. Um, expect him somewhere else. Hey, expect him in Minnesota. I mean, who knows, right? Uh, but definitely ex expect him somewhere where I think that he has an opportunity to win a title. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. If you agree with me or disagree, it doesn't matter. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let, let's talk about it. What do you think? You think? Do you think we should try to do everything we possibly can to sign Brandon Sheriff? I mean, after all, we do have the cap space. Or should we just cut him loose, focus that money toward getting a quarterback, a franchise quarterback? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Again, if you are enjoying this channel, you want to support us Washington football fans who have these YouTube channels. There's a lot of great channels out there. I'm trying to become one of them. Um, but definitely, I could use all your support. Um, definitely consider subscribing if you can. And uh, with all that being said, hell to the Washington whatever they're going to be, and I will see you <laughs> in the next one.